Hello, everybody. Welcome or welcome back. My name is Monique and I'm on a financial health journey to create an inheritance for the generations to come. I want to do that through consistency and discipline. And today is Wednesday, April the 3rd. I am headed out of town, but I do want to go ahead and handle my weekly budget check-in. I want to plan for next week. I want to go ahead and do a cash stuffing of my sinking funds. And I want to go ahead and record my uh, Monday mini savings challenge all with the hopes that by taking care of all of this now before i leave to go out of town i will have a set budget on exactly how much money i need to spend so that i can still work on curbing those unplanned expenses when you travel or at least for me i can't speak for everybody but when you but for me when i travel that's the time that i'm I can overspend the most. And I know that if I leave here and not work through my budget before I go, I have a greater um, probability of actually overspending, especially because Friday is a payday for me. So if I don't do this now and I open up my account on that Friday <laughs> and I see money, who knows what would happen. So I'm trying to curb that overall. Um, just a little bit about me. I do have some new uh, subscribers, so just a little bit about me. I'm a divorced mother of three. I was married for 23 years. I have two older children. I call them my crumb snatchers, and I have one that lives with me. Well, I have more than one that lives with me, but I have one that I am responsible for that lives with me. Um, and she's a junior in high school, and I really want to make sure that the decisions that I make now don't negatively impact them in the future. So that's what we're... Um, that's what my page is all about. I'd like to thank anybody who's liked or commented on any of my videos. And for those that, that have chosen to subscribe to my channel, thank you, thank you, thank you. If you haven't made up your mind, sit with me for a spell at the end of this video. If you find that this is content you can get with, you find it valuable or enjoyable, then please feel free to subscribe. So I am going to first do my weekly budget check-in and then my budget with me all in one video. And what I've decided to do is change the dates up. So today's Wednesday, April 3rd. That's what I'm going to put as my closing date for um, this last uh, week's budget. And normally I do Thursday, but I'll do a Wednesday since uh, this is going to be the last time that I have a chance to really review this and kind of go over the numbers. And so with that, I will start my next week on the 4th, but it will run through the 11th. So this was six days. The other one will be eight days to kind of account for um, this change that I'm having to make. So we will go ahead and get started. Oh, hold on. All right, so let's just talk through really quickly. You guys know I do an April monthly overview and everything is looking good. All of my, all of these came out. So electric cleared, ring and AHS have all cleared. I already took care of my property insurance. That was a sinking fund, not from my budget itself, paycheck budget, but I've already taken care of paid that. Um, I, I did include in this week's budget the um, payment for Nelnet because I wasn't sure when they were going to take it out. Forgot I was going out of town. So, you know, I'm leaving today. It, it may come out tomorrow. I'm not sure. I'm going to mark it off today, though, and account for it now. But that's the only thing that's left before I was going to be able to do a... Um, close out anyway. So I think we are good. Um, the other things are tasks that I had for myself. I scheduled Dirtsy's groom already. I'm picking him up on the 27th. That's that little star you see there. And then his uh, um, grooming appointment is scheduled for May the 7th. And then I did try my lawn guy to tell him I'm about ready to get started with uh, getting my lawn done, especially now that I've saved up the buffer, the money that I needed, that cushion to kind of get things started. Uh, no response from him. And so we're going to give him another week. And then after that, if he does not respond, then I will try and move on and find someone else. Uh, I am not going to be able to check on my pay raise on the 4th. That's what I plan to do. Again, forgot that I was going out of town and I'm not going to be able to log in, <clears throat> excuse me, to a portal or, or anything to check on that. So I will be surprised on the 5th, just like uh, everybody else around what my pay is going to be. And then the last thing down here, you'll see this little green bug. And my daughter has a spring concert now that I have to. I don't know what I have to do, but I know I'm going to have to do something. Probably run and take some kids and other things. And what's really crazy is she is she has interviewed to become the uh, president of the chorus, uh, the choir 
for next year and just I can just see more work for mommy as well all right so here we go um, here, this is what it's looking like as far as the budget. Everything that I budgeted as far as income source came in as expected. And so my total there was 978 for all of the bills that I had um, for this particular week. All of them have happened and have come in as expected. So that total, I could have written that one in too, is 163. And I'm gonna come out just a tad bit. Make it a little bit easier for you guys to see. All right, so uh, as far as my savings is concerned, all of this happened as expected. So exactly what I thought I was gonna put into my savings is exactly what I did. So that was $178. So the left side is looking great now to the right. So when it comes to expenses, um, excuse me, um, gas under budget by a lot, right? which is okay. I need that extra. Plus this is spring break week and I've not had to do a lot of running um, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, actually today, uh, who knows? Of course I'm getting on the road, so I may end up spending some money and I didn't want to top off my gas, but I definitely have more than three quarters of a tank uh, because I haven't had to do as much running as I have had to do over the past few weeks. So that's a good thing. Groceries, less um home was less as well by six dollars and then corinne used up her money of course and she used a little bit more of she so she she did good with her snack money that's the ten dollars that i give her every week for her to have at school and then i had another 10 available if she wanted to go and eat out or go with some friends etc so this was the weekend of the musical showcase plus she sang at um a church for resurrection sunday and with the choir um she had a little solo and she did really well um, and so she wanted to leave and go with her friends for that too. So that was two outings, I guess, in the same, um, weekend time period. And I told her, Hey, if you use your money, you won't have any more until that, until, uh, today or tomorrow. And she said that was fine. She just wanted to go out with her friends. So she is a little bit over, but that's okay. Um, for that one, because I was under budget with so many other things, it kind of evened out for me. Uh, for me, I did spend more because I needed to buy those showcase tickets. Um, I needed to buy one for Saturday. Yes, I went on Saturday. Um, and then for dining out, we spent the 20. Um, and that's because she had a friend over um, who sings with her on the choir. And so um, she came home with us on Saturday and went with us to the church on Sunday. And so I gave them that 20 bucks, sent them to Panda Express. I told them that's all you have to spend. And you know, here's the thing. They could have gotten like a little bowl and, and just had been done with it and probably would have had some change lever left. No, if like I told you guys before, if I give my daughter $20, she's going to spend it. She spent $19.58. <laughs> she is not... She's going to use up that money, but she didn't go over. And I think that is good because it is cash. And so this is one of the things as well that I'm figuring out about her. If I give her cash and tell her to go and spend wisely, she'll use all of it up, but she never goes over. She never calls me or comes back to the car, etc. I don't know the decisions that she's making while she's in that line, but whatever it is, she always comes in under budget where if I would have given her my card and told her to go into the store and she comes back, she was like, oh, it was a little bit over is what I, I know I would have heard. So cash works, at least for these kids. All right, so let's see where we are for that total. 23, 86, 24, 10, 15, 18, and 20 equals $196. Now, what's key about that 196? I'll just stick it here. Oh. That's not 196, that's 190, 196. All right, so what's key about that is I'm not rolling any of this money over. Anything that's left over, I am not rolling it over into um, variable rollover. It's all gonna stay in my, um, in my cash envelopes, in my wallet, because I need it for this weekend. So let me just mark 250 minus 196 equals $54. And so that makes cash rollover in my wallet, $54. And that puts me at an even 250 on that one. And then I'm going to go ahead, like I mentioned before, I planned for um, this to come out on the 5th. This is my student loan for Nelnet. 
thought it might come out a little bit early, but not this early, not on the third. I'm just going to go ahead and mark it down, though, because at the end of the day, I know it's coming out. It's a set amount. It never changes. And so I'll go ahead and mark that off. But you guys notice how about this? Like, I can't even tell you how happy and excited I am. Look at this. Nothing. <laughs> I did not have any unplanned expenses for the last six days. And I'm just peacock proud of myself. So let's mark down 82 here. And for the most part, all of this came in as expected. 978. Bills was 163. Um, total expenses was 250. Total savings, 178. Let's make sure. Yeah. All righty. And then uh, nail net for the bill, 182. So I don't even have to add anything up or, or move anything around because I know that'll be 305. And here's the thing. This is the most boring budget weekly check-in that I've done. And I am the most excited about it. Just everything came in exactly as expected. I saved money for my variable expense, which gave me a little bit extra money now that I have in my wallet going forward for this trip that I'm going on. And I just didn't have any su surprises and no disappointments with unplanned expenses. So let's move on. All right. I'm going to quickly shuffle all the way to April. And let's go to, that's my monthly, let's go to my weekly. All right, so as I mentioned before, we're going to change this date here. So this date says it's April 5th. Let's go here. Yeah, I know. I know that. Let's move you over. Probably could have done this off camera, but I need to do it now. So it's April 4th through the 11th is what the budget is going to be for, okay? And so... Um, for this time period, I have budgeted $1,175, $250 for variable expenses, $150 I'm expecting from Kim and, and Micah um, for this week, um, and then for rollover, although it said $305 left over from last week, I only want to roll over $100, meaning I want to try and see if I can leave the other 200 as a cushion in my bills buffer account, we shall see. Now, we already know that this um, bills account amount is going to be higher because I am getting a pay raise that should be reflected in the paycheck I'm going to receive on April the 5th. But as I mentioned earlier, I just don't know how much that's going to be. So I'm going to leave it at, at $11.75 for right now. All right. So when you look at all of those and add all of those together, and remember we just said I'm not going to roll over any of my variable savings. I'm going to keep it in my wallet. So that all totals, and I'll add it again just to be sure, 1175. I'm trying to add in some of these numbers to make things a little bit quicker so that I can stay closer to that 15 minute time frame. So 1675 is the total, total that I'm budgeting as far as my income source is concerned. All right, so the three bills that I have coming out, Paramount on the six, um, Verizon, remember I did talk about the fact that that increased. So this, this time it's moved from 165, I think is usually what I budget to 186. And then it'll come back down about 10 bucks. Um, for the next cycle. And then that should be the amount going forward. 176 should be the amount going forward. And then iCloud on the 11th for a dollar. So all of that totals $199. All right. Next, I have $150 of from the money I expect from the kids. And then I'm going to take 50 out of this rollover amount. I'm going to take $50 out of that. So that's going to make a total of $200. And that's how much I am anticipating for my savings. So I typically, for savings, for sinking funds, savings challenges, the mini challenges, anything, I take whatever the kids give me and I use that, at least for right now, until I'm out of this um, payroll deduction time period. Um, and so I expect $150 from them. I'm going to give another 50 out of my rollover and that's going to be a total of 200 and then this is how it breaks now 40 in my family binder because um, i'm going to go into my family binder um to pull some money out for under family either family fun or family vacation and under auntie's babies to take with me uh, many challenges of course i try to do 50 dollars for that every time um, my april month the month of april's savings challenge i want to contribute 35 to that 58 to my high priority, which I have made some changes to. 
and then uh, nothing on my low priority for this time period a lot of the low priority um, buckets that I have are under my many challenges that's where I'm gonna um, put some of that money so I'm not gonna put anything in low priority and then I have a self-care challenge that I'm really trying to bump up and so that I have at $17 so that totals the 200 all right next <clears throat> this is how my money is going to lay out for my variable expenses. So I give myself $250 right here. And that's how much I want to have as far as my variable expenses are concerned. Um, I am not going to contribute anything to home. That's going to save me $30. I'm going to take some of that and put it towards gas. Gas usually is $40. I'm going to put $60. I'm going to have to put, although we're taking my mom's um, car, well, she has a RAV4. Although we're driving my mom's vehicle, I know I'm going to be responsible for gas. Whoever drives, you are responsible for gas. So I'm giving myself a little bit extra for that. And then for groceries, I'm backing that out a little bit. That's normally $120. And I'm going to take that extra $20 and give it towards dining out. So I buff that up. Um, and then I still had an extra 10, so I'm going to give Corinne an extra 10 just in case her and my niece want to do something together while they're, um, while we're there. All right. So all of that adds up to be still $250, not going over my budget, just allocating the money a little differently. And then here you go for Allie and Discover. So Allie is the credit card. I have budget, I'm budgeting a $30 payment for that. Discover, I'm budgeting a $100 payment for that. Now, although this shows that the date on this um, is the 12th and this budget actually goes through the 11th, neither Allie nor Discover are on auto drafts from the bank account. I have to go in and actually pay those, manually pay them. So I can pay them whenever and I'm going to pay them in this particular paycheck period. I'm sorry, this particular week. And so that's why I go ahead and document those there. So the date is less important for the credit card payments because they are not on a manual payment schedule. I'm sorry, they're not on an auto drive payment schedule. I just manually pay those. All right, so those are all of the ones that we have to consider for this coming week. And so my total income, what did I say? 16.75. Bills is 199. Variable expense 250. Savings, 200 Debt, 130 All right, so I've already got $16.75 there. Minus $199, minus $250, minus $200, minus $130 equals $896 left over. Now, the reason why um, I, I'm not looking to, to spend any more and I want to leave that at $896, remember the next week I'm not going to get a check. And that's when I, that's my heavy my heavy um, bill time frame. Um, I'm always mid month mid month heavy when it comes to bills. So that's where my auto payment, my auto loan payment comes out, which is 500 bucks. Um, my consumer credit uh, card, Kohl's comes out, Green Sky comes out, etc. So I need every bit of that to make sure that I can cover next week. Plus, um, I'll have my $250 for my variable expenses. So there you go. Um, things look great for this past week. And now they're, and they're looking pretty good for next week as well. That $896 actually feels a little tight, but it should come in um, right where I need it to. I don't think there's going to be anything left. All right. And then as I mentioned before, I am not rolling over any of the money into my variable expense rollover. I'm not putting any of that into my jar for savings challenges or anything like that. I am going to use that money in my wallet. I'm trying to get all my change out. There you go. I'm trying to use all, I'm going to use all of that money in my wallet for my trip. So here's all the change I've been able to collect. Let's get here to the tower. I have pennies and then again with the quarters. Oh, I got one nickel, no dimes. All right, that is done. And then what do I have left over now in my wallet? So for gas, I now have 
what is this? 20, 40, 45, $45 in my gas. And that's good. That's for a tank of gas. And I'm already full. And I'm going to use, well, I'm three quarters of the way. So I'm going to use a little bit of the money that I have in the bank top off. This will be used to come back. And then I use the um, extra that I have um, in left over in the account to go to Charlotte. All right. Personal for Monique, 10 20 $21. This will help with coffee. Um, because I will need coffee every single day while I'm gone. My mom doesn't have a coffee machine, so coffee is now taken care of. Corinne doesn't have anything left. Uh, and this is now prior to stuffing the money that we just talked about, right? So this is just rollover that I have left. From groceries, I have 20, 25, 30, 35. I'm going to move this from groceries, and we're going to put that in eating out. Where is that? Don't I have that? I have gas. Ah, eating out, we skipped that one. So I moved that grocery money over to eating out. So that will help for eating out. Then my personal, that was me. Corinne has nothing left. Talked about groceries. N nothing in savings right now, except I'm about to remove some money and put it in there. So this savings category that I have here, that is for when I'm taking money from my sinking funds and adding it over here to use, and then I'll know kind of what to take or bring back or what I have available to spend. So I'm just gonna take from Auntie's Babies, I'm gonna take $40 out, just in case I wanna do something fun with them. 20, 30, 35, 35 is still left. We'll do that. And then family fund is where I'll take another 40 out. So let's say 20, 40. And then family fund has 20, 30, 40 still left. So that's an extra $80 in case there's something fun we want to do. We talked about doing an escape room or something like that. I'm not sure. Maybe we just use it. Might go out to eat one day. It might take the kids out for some ice cream. Who knows? So that's $80 that I have. This is going to go a long way to helping with money for this weekend so that I do not, do not have to swipe unnecessarily. Again, I still want to stay away from those unplanned expenses. All right, so I have now stacked my cash into my wallet and I am good to go. That is it. All right, thanks everybody for your time. You guys have a good one.